I am at Vismaro Training Center where the women's AC Milan team is currently training in their first season. They're ranked in third place hoping to get that Champions League spot. Today I sat down with head coach Carolina Maracci to talk about this women's team, to talk about her time coaching Team Canada and of course all things AC Milan. And you were the first female to be inducted into the Italian Football Hall of Fame. Last year we saw the first female Ballon d'Or given. What would be the next step forward in women's football that you would like to see? I think that uh, as um, in, in Italy, I think that uh, it's important to see that, uh, the, that uh, the, we have a crowd in, uh, in uh, our, um, our, uh, the people that follow the team. And I think also that another goal, uh, the most important is to become professional. And would you ever want to coach a men's professional team or do you want to stick to female football and pushing that forward? No, I think that uh, I'm a coach. I can, uh, with my lab pro license, I can coach uh, everywhere and uh, also the Serie A men's team. I don't think that there is the right mentality to do that uh, for now in Italy, but I'm a coach. So it's just that I like to coach where I can try to win. So it's men or women, it doesn't matter. As long as you win, yeah, that's, exactly. that's the important part. <laughs> actually were a coach in Canada. You coached the women's team in Canada. What are some of your fondest memories of Canada? Well, we, we did a very, very great job, uh, my staff and, uh, and I. I think that uh, the, um, one of the biggest results was uh, to win the CONCACAF in 2010. We won uh, something like uh, two Cyprus Cup and uh, was a, a very successful uh, team at that time. But I think that that experience uh, was, uh, was really good, also because the team, uh, we play very well, so it was a very satisfaction uh, um, to coach a player like, uh, like Christine Sinclair, that was uh, so an, am an amazing experience for me. And do you find that there's a big difference between the football style in Canada and in Italy? But our football in Italy, the football is more uh, tactics, more um, maybe also technical. In, in Canada, US is more uh, physical. So um, I think that also the Canadian, maybe they are more uh, athletes. Here is for a coach is easier because all players watch the matches and uh, everybody in Italy knows the football, so it's easier. And now speaking of AC Milan and the women's team, I'm curious to know how how does a young girl who's looking up to these players aspire to become a professional football player with the club? I think that that is a, a very important ex, um, aspect because, uh, of course, uh, I'm at my time when I was a player, we we couldn't have uh, um, female models. Instead, it's very important for the young girls to have. Uh, the inspiration of uh, female uh, model and now uh, now in Italy uh, also because the, the team is uh, qualified for the World Cup uh, everybody knows who is uh, Daniela Sabatino, who is uh, Girelli or who is uh, Giacinti so that is, uh, is important but it's also that uh, the club like Milan uh, we have our, uh, our supporters are uh, the supporters of uh, men's team so now, for sure, they have the ideas that their daughter can, can play football and can play for Milan. So is, uh, we are growing a lot in Italy. All right, Carolina, thank you so much for your time. This was amazing. You're welcome. Grazie mille. Prego. <laughs>